Today is day 360 of the year 2020, and the date is December 25th, 2020. I'm reading from the Message Version, and today's scripture is from Luke and Matthew. Luke, chapter 2, starting at verse 1. About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Quirinus was governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be accounted for. So Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judah, David's town for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary, his fiance, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger, because there was no room in the hostel. Heading. An event for everyone. There were shepherders camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angels stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody, worldwide. A Savior has just been born in David's town. A Savior who is Messiah and Master. This is what you're to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the high, heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth who please him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the sheep herders talked it over. Let's go over to Bethlehem as fast as we can to see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Seeing was believing. They told everyone that they met that the angel, what the angels had said about this child. All who heard the sheep herders were impressed. Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear, deep within her. The shepherders returned and let loose, glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they had been told. Heading. Blessings. When the eighth day arrived, the day of circumcision, the child was named Jesus the name given by the angel, before he was conceived. Matthew, chapter 1, starting at verse 18, heading, The Birth of Jesus. The birth of Jesus took place like this. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. Before they came to the marriage bed, Joseph discovered she was pregnant. It was by the Holy Spirit, but he didn't know that. Joseph chagrined but noble, determined to take care of things quietly so Mary would not be disgraced. While he was trying to figure a way out, he had a dream. God's angel spoke in the dream, Joseph, son of David, don't hesitate to get married. Mary's pregnancy is spirit conceived. God's Holy Spirit has made her pregnant. She will bring a son to birth. And when she does, you, Joseph, will name him Jesus, God saves, because he will save his people from their sins. This would bring the prophet's embryonic sermon to full term. Watch for this, a virgin will get pregnant and bear a son. They will name him Emmanuel, Hebrew for God is with us. Then jo Joseph woke up. He did exactly what God's angel commanded in the dream. He married Mary, but he did not consummate the marriage until she had the baby. He named the baby Jesus. That is the reading for today, day 360, December the 25th, 2020. God bless each and every one of you, and may God be with you until we meet again.